If you have a water well or a booster pump at your house, a cycle stop valve or CSV can give you strong constant pressure and make your pump last longer. But to understand how a CSV can do that, we first need to understand how the old pressure tank pressure switch system works. This animation shows a well pump with a standard diaphragm type pressure tank and pressure switch. The pump in this simulation is sized to produce 25 gallons per minute at 50 psi from a water depth of 140 feet. A simple pressure switch turns the pump on at 40 psi and off at 60 psi. A pressure tank must be about three quarters full of air when compressed for use as a spring to push the water back out as needed. The diaphragm simply keeps the air separated so it doesn't mix and get lost with the water. So when you open a faucet, the pressure will drop from 60 to 40 psi as the diaphragm pushes the water out of the tank. At 40 psi, the tank is empty and the pressure switch starts the pump. The pump is producing 25 gallons per minute and the faucet is only using 5 gallons per minute. So the extra 20 gallons per minute produced by the pump goes into the pressure tank until it is full and up to 60 psi where the pressure switch shuts the pump off. With the 5 gallon minute faucet still running, the water in the tank is quickly depleted and the pump is cycled on again. Small flow rates will cause the tank to fill quickly and drain slowly. Opening additional taps or larger flow rates will cause the tank to fill slowly and drain quickly. Either way, the pump continues to cycle on and off while water is being used. This standard pressure tank and pressure switch system is very reliable and has been the traditional system for many decades. However, cycling on and off is and always has been the number one killer of pumps. For this reason, it has always been recommended to use as large a pressure tank as possible. Although, larger pressure tanks only reduce the number of cycles, as even a million gallon pressure tank will still allow the pump to cycle on and off. The only way to keep a 25 gallon a minute pump from cycling is to always use 25 gallons a minute or nothing at all. But as in this case, even with every tap in the house open, the most this system can use is 24 gallons per minute. So any water outlet or combination of water outlets will still cause the pump to cycle on and off. Not just the pump, but the life of the motor, pressure switch, pressure tank, capacitors, relay, check valves, and every component in the system is greatly shortened by repetitive cycling on and off. Also, every time the pump cycles, the pressure varies from 40 to 60 psi, then all the way back from 60 to 40 psi. Cycling is not only bad for the pump system, but also makes weak and varying pressure for the shower and sprinklers. The larger the pressure tank, the slower the cycles. But the larger the tank, the longer you will experience low pressure in the shower before the pump is started and stronger pressure is achieved. This animation simply adds a cycle stop valve or CSV to the traditional system prior to the pressure tank and any water lines. Same as the old pressure tank only system, when a kitchen faucet is opened, all the water is drawn from the tank and the pressure switch starts the pump at 40 psi. The difference now is that the CSV is set to main 50 psi constant. By maintaining 50 psi constant, the CSV can tell how much water you're using and it makes the pump produce exactly that amount. There is no extra water being produced, so no water is entering the pressure tank. As long as more than one gallon per minute is being used, the CSV maintains a constant 50 psi. Since the pressure never reaches 60, the pump runs continuously. When additional taps are turned on, like to wash laundry or run the dishwasher, the CSV increases the flow from the pump to 10 gallons per minute, then 12 gallons per minute. Taking a shower at the same time increases the flow to 16 gallons per minute. Having a sprinkler or heat pump zone come on at this time would cause the CSV to increase the flow to 22 gallons per minute. If a toilet is flushed while all of this is going on, the CSV will increase the flow to 24 gallons per minute as needed. As soon as the toilet is refilled, the CSV will reduce the flow to match the 22 gallons per minute still being used. All the while, the CSV is maintaining a constant 50 psi, which makes shower pressure stronger and eliminates the blast of hot water when a toilet is flushed elsewhere in the house. As more water uses are turned off, 
The CSV sees each one and reduces the flow to exactly match the amount still being used. The CSV decreases the flow to 12 gallons per minute when the shower is turned off. Flow is further reduced to 10 gallons per minute when the dishwasher is finished. When the laundry is done, the CSV reduces the flow to match the 5 gallon per minute kitchen faucet, which is the only thing still running. Only when all the faucets are finally closed will the CSV let 1 gallon per minute enter the pressure tank until it is full to 60 psi and the pressure switch shuts the pump off. Any time water is being used for any length of time, the CSV is producing exactly the right flow needed. Water comes directly from the pump and flows right past the tank straight to the faucets. It doesn't matter if it's a one gallon tank or a million gallon tank. The only time the pressure tank is even being used is for short, intermittent uses of water like flushing or maybe to fill an ice maker. While the CSV will work with any size pressure tank, large tanks are not necessary. Most house systems only need a 4.5 gallon size tank when using a CSV. Since they contain 75% air, even large pressure tanks don't hold much water. While a 4.5 gallon tank holds 1 gallon of water, a large 40 gallon tank only holds 10 gallons of water. 10 or even 20 gallons from a really large tank doesn't go very far in a house that uses more than 300 gallons every day. Since even a large 80 gallon tank only holds maybe 20 gallons of water, our real water supply comes from the well and pump. The only reason for a large pressure tank in an old style system is to reduce the number of on off pump cycles. And when you have a CSV to do that for you, a large tank is a waste of money and space. Many people do not understand how a tank with only one gallon of water can safely supply things like 50 to 60 intermittent toilet flushes a day. And while it is true that with the small tank the pump will cycle for each intermittent flush, toilet flushes are rarely intermittent. If you stand there and flush a toilet 100 times in a row, the CSV will only let the pump cycle once, keeping it running continuously until after the last flush. If you flush a toilet, then wash your hands or step into the shower, the pump just stays on. Only when the shower, sink, and all the faucets are closed will the CSV let the tank fill and the pump shut off. Most people in a household will use water at about the same time of day. If anyone or any appliance is using water elsewhere in or around the house, the pump is already running and flushing a toilet doesn't cause an additional cycle. So while you are in the shower, someone else is making coffee, starting a load of wash or dishes, and the CSV just keeps the pump running steady, continually varying the flow to match everything being used in and around the house. Only when the last faucet is closed and the CSV has had time to refill the pressure tank will the pump finally be shut off. By then, everyone in the house is out the door to school or work. The same thing happens when everyone is home getting ready for bed. The CSV just keeps the pump running and the pressure constant until the last person stops using water. For any long term water uses like sprinklers or a heat pump, the pump will be running steady. So if you need a shower or to do some laundry, the CSV just opens up to supply the extra water needed for as long as you need it, then resets the pump for just the sprinklers without letting the pump cycle even once. Rarely is a single toilet flush the only water used at a given time. But even if you flush a toilet once, 50 different times per day, when no other water is being used anywhere, it won't hurt the pump. Those 50 cycles for individual toilet flushes would have been canceled out by the CSV having eliminated many repetitive cycles for longer term uses like showers. The next question most people ask is about the energy use. When a 5 gallon per minute kitchen faucet is being used, the CSV is making this 25 gallon per minute pump deliver exactly 5 gallons per minute. And while you may think restricting a 25 gallon per minute pump to 5 gallons per minute would be hard on the pump and or the electric bill, you would be wrong. Some pump brands are better than others, but some pumps, like the 2 horsepower in this animation, can drop as much as 50% in amperage when restricted. This pump will draw a maximum of 14 amps while using 25 gallons per minute and can drop to about 7 amps 
when restricted to very low flow like one kitchen faucet. A 14 amp motor loping along at 7 amps is using about half power. Half the amps is also half the heat, so the motor is happy and running cooler. Any pump is working at its most efficient point while producing maximum flow, but with the drop in amps from the restriction of a CSV, it doesn't cost much to use water at any flow rate needed. Being able to use any flow rate you want can be the best way to conserve our limited fresh water supply. When a small flow rate is all that is needed for watering plants and such, there is no need to overlap and overuse irrigation zones to equal 25 gallons per minute just to keep the pump from cycling itself to death as it would with the old pressure tank only method. As seen in the old pressure tank only animation, unless you are using the full 25 gallons per minute this pump can produce, the pump is cycling on and off continually. In so doing, it is drawing maximum amps and then zero amps over and over again, which is not good for the pump. Many companies have tried to copy the performance of the CSV using variable speed pumps and many so-called tankless gadgets. Pressure tank only systems are much more simple and reliable. The only problem has always been premature failures from repetitive cycling on and off. When a CSV is added to a traditional pressure tank pressure switch system, cycling goes away. Not only does the CSV supply strong constant pressure to the house, but also makes the most reliable and longest lasting pump system available. If you still have questions, or are ready to join the many thousands of people who enjoy constant pressure and all the other benefits of a cycle stop valve, contact us through our webpage at cyclestopvalves.com or call 800-652-0207. Thank you.